I know it's pretty cool. I know I like it a lot. How about that? Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator coming at you today with Scourgebringer. A very, very tight roguelike with a lot of aerial combat. It's super, super difficult, but it kind of has me by the balls for that reason. Okay, well, we don't know where it came from and why it started to spread the Scourge across our lands. The Scourgebringer, our end. Whoa, death by fire. The countless deaths it brought is our new reality. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Hmm, we ventured in it, hoping to find answers. No one has ever returned from its depths. Oh crap! Well, here's a sword and a drone. Kyra, go forth, my child. You are the strongest of our clans. Our last light. Yeah, and my hair's on fire too. Or made of smoke or something. May you accomplish the impossible task of repelling this ordeal. Yes, indeed. The Scourge Bringer awaits. So, I'm not very good at this game, admittedly. Um, it, for some reason, restarted. I beat the first level, and then it dropped me back <laughs> to the tutorial. Hostile environment detected. Enabling anti-threat protocol. Okay, great. Go through the door. That's, that's what we do here. Obviously, there are things on the side. They're like, hey, you can double jump. Hey, you can d jump down the cliffs. That's all pretty basic. You can uh, run up walls, which I guess is pretty cool. You can also, like, yeah, I, I basically just kick myself off the walls. I'm more used to the wall jumping part. But here you can see some uh, aerial combat. I killed those three guys. I didn't touch the ground, even a little bit. And here's a little bit of dashing. You will have to make good use of your dashes, even though the dashes don't really make you invincible, which I think is kind of sad. <laughs> uh, but then again, I've cheesed through a lot of games that I probably shouldn't have beat just because I had the the invincibility on the dash. So a heavy smash is what we're demonstrating here. The Y button when they get this exclamation point over their head and it basically stuns them. Um, and I can't kill these boys unless they have the exclamation point and they're stunned. So that's pretty interesting. You'll, you'll be making a lot of use of that. Basically, uh, enemies will telegraph their attacks before anything happens and uh, you have that small window to to hit the heavy attack and stun them. The heavy attack doesn't do a lot of damage. It's basically just a knockback sort of thing, but that's relatively okay. I don't find myself using it all that often. It's mostly mashing X and getting my regular attack going. Blood is power. Thou shalt seek its power. Yes, indeed. Those pedestals will get you some, uh, some goodies and stuff. Different sorts of power-ups, uh, price reductions in the shop, increased HP, all kinds of stuff. So I think I still have the shockwave from uh, dashing into the ground, so maybe it didn't reset me completely. Oh yeah, I've got four of those little golden discs you can see in the lower right corner. You've got blood, which is currency at the shop, and then you've got the golden discs, which uh, you can spend on different... Uh, abilities in the the chiming tree which is basically a, the middle ground between where you're uh, where you're not fighting all these dudes so when I die we'll, we'll head back to the chiming tree but hopefully I won't die too quick I want to demonstrate some of this combat the spikes on the floor watch out for that dash into the bats basically just dash into anything if it's far away dash if it's uh, up close mash X if it has an exclamation point, mash Y, and you will win. You also obviously are able to shoot uh, if your bar on the left side there is full. So I find that relatively helpful for some enemies. Not generally in uh, these early stages. These guys are fairly simple to dispatch, but in the next stage you will definitely want as many shooty gun things as you possibly can get. So. Lots of, uh, lots of melee is needed in order to keep that full. So it's a fine balance that needs to be maintained. But, uh, it goes relatively well. I can't complain. Oh, oh, oh. And they got me. Get a little bit of slug kebab. 
Uh, a lot of items that drop at the end are like either health up or power items. Let's see. Judges drop more items with at least one health item. Floor is lava. Mm. Yeah, we'll reload while enemies are around. Floor is lava is kind of cool too, but um, like I said, I I got my, my shit handed to me in the, the next level, so I want to have as many gunnies as possible. And I took another hit. Good lord. But yeah, um, the end of the stage, sometimes we'll drop a health item, sometimes it'll drop a, a power item. And by that I mean, you know, a power up to your gun or your revolver, whatever it's called. Sometimes you can get some really cool stuff, shotgun, chain gun, and uh, that is like a huge upgrade to your revolver. This turtle thing is gonna just blast across the whole room, so you basically have to find some cover in order to deal with that. There's uh, the mini boss to the right up there, I can see on the mini map, that little eye. So I'm not gonna go in that room quite yet. We'll explore the, the map a little more and see if I can harvest a bit more blood and hopefully maybe find a shop and get myself a little upgraded. God, I am lacking some health, but there's really nowhere else to go, I don't think, so what to do? What to do? Oh no, there's a tiny room down there. Okay. Good. Yes, explore the whole map. They do have a, a power-up available that's like, you can teleport to different rooms, but I haven't taken it yet because it doesn't seem that powerful, like, during combat, which, that's what most of the game is. <laughs> You want to be stronger in combat. If I have to walk a little longer to get to the room, I, I guess I'm okay with that. You can also attack those dudes through walls, obviously. So that is pretty sweet. You can use that to cheese just a little bit, which I'm not against doing from time to time. And boom. That dash into the ground. Super powerful. I like it a lot. That's one of my newest upgrades, and uh, I'm super glad. Super glad for it. So as you can tell, um, yeah, mostly the same enemies. When you get to the next level, the enemies differ slightly. Uh, like instead of those little guys shooting three straight bullets, it'll shoot three in like a shotgun pattern. So it's a little bit harder to dodge, but overall you can kind of tell what the enemies are supposed to do and be. And um, I think that's helpful. It doesn't make things too boring because the style does change, but they sort of resemble the the previous style which you know helps with predicting what they're gonna do and stuff like that I'm down to four health I'm not looking too good here but uh I remain hopeful oh look increase max HP why not little mini room that's only gonna spawn one wave instead of the two waves oh no it does spawn two waves well, fart, what do I know about this game, then? <laughs> I know it's pretty cool. I know I like it a lot. How about that? How about that? So, just, yeah. Gotta keep moving. That's really all the game is. Continue moving. And I'm, I was about to take a cheap shot right there. Good lord. I still took a hit. <laughs> but I dodged the, the big stuff. That's the main boss room up there. This is a shop. So I think probably I'll go for the SMG and show off how this this gunny can be upgraded. Because you definitely want an upgrade, some sort of upgrade for your gun. The SMG is not the best upgrade that I've experienced. The shotgun's probably the best one. Even though you have less uh, rounds, you will obliterate things if you get close to them and fire your shotgun. Um, but yeah, the SMG is okay too. Definitely better than the basic, the basic ass basic. So let's, uh, hump our way back up and get to that mini boss. And then once we defeat the mini boss, we can go fight the main boss and possibly visit the shop again, depending how much blood we get from this mini boss. So there you go. A little bit of a uh, machine gun, machine gun loving. And this boss basically has two attacks. It's that big round thing, and then he'll teleport to a corner and do, like, another volley sort of thing. Both of which are relatively easy to deal with. Especially if you have SMG. Because I just uh, wiped the floor with that dude. So, sweet. No problem. I'm liking that a lot. 
It took me a long time to figure out how to uh, deal with that guy. I think a lot of it has to do with like dashing through him. When he spawns in the middle of the room, you kind of hit him a couple times and then dash upward through him. Um, so you get over the, the block that's next to him, but he doesn't quite get over it. And then, uh, yeah, he'll he'll shoot his big round spherical things into the block and therefore you will you will dodge them or you won't have to dodge them. They will disappear on the block. So I'll probably lose to the boss because I only have four HP, but we're going to go ahead and jump in anyways. Body boulder. He's a body boulder. Everybody look out. I took a hit there. When he does that thing, you basically want to dash upwards. Claps his hands, makes a big thing. So basically three, three maybe four attacks that he does. But uh, they're pretty hard to dodge. <laughs> you want to stay up near the top of the, the room. But here's my skill tree. Hooray! There's that fast travel thing I was talking about. Lethal Club lets heavy attacks deflect things, which seems pretty cool to me. Um, I do use the heavy attack pretty often. And and if you're late on the uh, exclamation points, then yeah, it could be pretty important. Crystallization will allow the blood that's left over to transform into Judge Blood one judge blood for every thousand blood that you die with so I'm gonna pick that up as well and then the last uh, golden disc I guess I can hang on to for now and we'll go ahead and, and try again we'll go try and defeat the boss kill the boss but basically you've, you've seen the gist of the game I mean that's that's what it is it's Scourgebringer it's at first I didn't really like how floaty it felt you know, it seems kind of cheesy to just stay up in the air the entire time and be able to hit whatever I want, and you don't really have to worry about hitting the ground. But then the other half of me kind of loves that. <laughs> it does make you feel like a fucking awesome ninja, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit torn. I think overall it's a good thing, though. Excellent. Didn't take any hits there. Uh, thank you. So smack those flies out of the way. They died because they hit the wall. They didn't die from that attack itself. So yeah, the the heavy attack doesn't really offer much aside from the knockback. So you can you can use it to uh, a certain extent, but I don't have enough to buy anything here. We'll move on. Hopefully I'll get some more blood. 350 is what I need. If I can find a shrine, sometimes they offer like 500 blood. It's 500 blood or double your current blood, which, um, yeah, generally is, is a pretty good deal. You need to buy things from the shop, or maybe you don't need to, but I definitely need to. <laughs> it's the only way I can win if, if I have some uh, upgraded shit. I guess if you're, if you're pretty good, you can do it with the basic stuff, but I ain't that good yet. Not yet. I've only put a couple hours into Scourgebringer, so... Uh, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, you know, it, it scratches the itch. It's definitely the sort of game that I play uh, most often. You know, pretty twitchy sort of roguelikes with uh, some nice fast combat. Increased sword damage, that's good. Most things I kill, I kill with the sword. So uh, I do need that. And we'll just dispatch some bats. Disbat. Dispatch. <laughs> Death batch. All right. So the the big guys you basically have to watch out for a little bit, just because they attack so fast. They will attack you once while you're hitting them. Mm, enemies stun for longer, gives back all HP. I'm gonna take weapons randomly drop at the end of the room, and hopefully I'll get an awesome weapon, and I won't have to worry about the shop. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We see how that goes. You never do know. I could get the best weapon ever. And if you're asking me what the best weapon ever is, the answer to that is I have no idea. Maybe the chain gun. It's, it's like the most expensive one that I've seen. But uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the best one that I've used is the shotgun. So take from that what you will, I suppose. And was able to stun that guy just before he started firing. That's a good demonstration about that that thing that I was saying. 
Oh boy. I don't know how I... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know how I dodged it. Well, guess what? I didn't dodge it. But I think that's the first bit of HP that I've lost, so... We're doing a, a bit better on this run. A little bit smoother. You don't want to go into a boss fight with 4 HP, do you? That's crazy. That's how you die right there. Although, dying doesn't matter so much in this game. As long as you're able to kill a boss, get some judge blood, you'll be alright. You can basically power yourself all the way up just by killing that mini boss, I think. Although it's going to take you a very long time to do so. Like, okay, you killed the mini boss 20 times. Now you get one upgrade. At least, like, near the end of the tree. And yeah, I, I, I hope to get better at the game to the point where, uh... Ooh, triple machine gun. See? See? That's good. But yeah, I hope to get better at the game to the point where I can uh, clear the entire thing. I don't know. It's it's in early access yet, so even if I clear the entire thing, I haven't necessarily cleared the entire thing. You know what I mean? They're going to come out with a full release and there will be more levels and more enemies. And I'm uh, looking forward to that pretty good. I'm really enjoying what has been presented here so far. I mean, yeah, the game itself. Dang. How can you say no? A little bit more sword damage. All right. And I think we're ready to fight the, the mini boss. Mm, 350. I have 335. Fart. Fart, fart. Well, okay. Give up on that then. I guess we can go back there after we fight the mini boss. Pick up some goodies before we go to the, uh, the main boy over there. That's a good plan. That's what we'll do. So here we go. Triple machine gun. Ow. So as you can see, I tried to uh, hit him a couple times and dashed through him upwards. What you really want to do is guide him into that um, into that block to either the right or left. Depending on basically the opposite, opposite side of which you're standing. So it works sometimes. I, I have to master it a bit more. There. I did it again. Hooray! A triple machine gun is really nice. But uh, I'm going to need to get closer with it. Oh, fart. There, I screwed it up. And I almost screwed it up again. Okay, I guess you could also go through the lower <laughs> the lower way. I was just trying to take some damage there and like finish the fight. But I guess that wasn't the way to do it. There we go. And no health. Just the full map. Fart. So I was hoping to take that uh, that Wee Pawn from the shop, but I think I'm going to have to end up going for the health because, again, I don't want to go fight the boss with four fucking HP. And, you know, it does increase my HP total, so if I find something that's able to fully heal me up, I can get up to 12 HP, which is pretty significant. I can, I can tear through a whole lot of stuff with 12 HP, plus 10% sword damage, plus my triple machine gun. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good, baby. So we'll try and do a little bit better on this boss. I have yet to uh, really master the tactic aside from when when he's about to clap his hands, get away from him. When he's about to do anything else, dash upwards through him. Oh my god. I took it right on the chin. Oh my god. 2 HP. We are so fucked, dude. We're gonna have to do it all again. All right, focus. Time for extreme focus. Oh God, no! Eee! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck, man! It was so close. <sighs> oh, well, I could spend a little more blood. Spend some blood. We'll start with a more powerful 32 revolver. I, right, Dan, I'll take that. And as you can tell, more bells get added to the tree as you build up your skill tree, which I think is a, a pretty nice touch. And then you jump through the tree and you hear a relaxing little ting-a-ling-a-ling, -ling, you know, after you just uh, got your ass kicked to some fucking brutal thrash metal. I think that's one of the things that I really like as well is uh, the the soundtrack. Just feels good. I've got a weakness for for thrash. I think one of the, the reasons that Killing Floor pulled me in so hard is because because of the soundtrack. Because the music is as brutal as the gameplay. Full map. Alright. 
Sure, why not? Not as good as a weapon, but I'll take it. I take it, and I thank you. Ooh, early heart. Get that HP up even before I lose it. Dang. So it's like a bonus heal as well. Oh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay. As you can see, I kind of cheesed around that block in order to uh, avoid the gunfire. And I paid the price for it there. Ended up taking a hit anyways. But okay, that's fine. I guess. We still got a lot of time to find health items, right? Everything's gonna be okay. Now, the platforms that you can dive through, the enemies can't shoot through. So, you can basically dive through a platform anytime you see they're about to shoot. If you can't hit them with a heavy attack. And, uh, kind of use that to, to shield yourself. I did knock some of those bullets back, I think. But it wasn't enough to kill him. Still, like I like I predicted, that's that's pretty nice. And I did get back to full up full HP because of that slug egg. Heal two HP. So, uh, sweet. Let's look at the shop. Extra rounds. Oh man. Power pack. Oh, shotgun. That's what I want. Holy crap. Let's see what we get here in the blood shrine. Lucky charm. Drop any kind of items. Drop weapons. 5% shop discount per missing HP. I think I'm going to take charm. Because I know I know what weapon I want. Nothing's going to beat that fucking surge shotgun. At least in my opinion. Because I got this really melee oriented play style. That's, you know, in your face kind of messing things up. Messing things up. Just get close, dash in, and, and tear things apart. And it feels really good. I'm going to leave that there. And uh, maybe it'll stay spawned? I assume it will. Why wouldn't it? Unless they're going for like some old school sort of gameplay mechanic, which was frustrating then, and I don't think I would like it very much now. So there's another slug kebab. I guess I could take it, just in case it doesn't respawn. And I thought about going back to check for the other one, but I'm sure we'll pass through that section of the map at some point. The boss is down there. No problem. We'll just take care of all this. Take care of all this. There you go. And it's a dead end. Hooray! So, let's fight the boss. I think I'm ready. I can, I can practice my tactics. And it seems to be working pretty well straight off the bat. I got full HP. I'm feeling happy. All right. Come on. Do a thing. I don't know how much stronger that upgrade that I got makes my uh, little revolver, but hopefully significantly. Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong side of that. Yeah, that, that tactic is working out relatively nicely, isn't it? Smooth. Very smooth. Now, if I could work out the tactic for the other boss... But I guess that's part of a roguelike, isn't it? There you go. I took one hit, but I, I killed him pretty good. I killed him pretty good! I still don't have enough to buy the surge shotgun, however. Which is frustrating. I'm very sad about that. Lots of enemies spawning in this room. Luckily, most of the enemies that spawn in the early level can be defeated with just, like, one hit. And if not one, then not much more than that. You know, these guys are like maybe three, four hits. And then the uh, the bigger version of those guys, that's, you know, you're looking at about eight hits or something like that. But you can you can get through that relatively easy. All right. Little max HP. Thank you so much. We got 12 HP, man. We're looking pretty good. And I don't mean 12 HP total with only four HP. I mean 12 HP overall. That's sweet. I'm liking that a lot. Strange egg. I don't need you right now. I'm going to uh, come back for you later, I'm sure. Just uh, dash through these little fly things. Little fly boys. There's a hit. Okay. These little worms are kind of frustrating. Increase reload speed. Yeah, sure. And it is still here. So sweet. That is uh, much as I expected it to be. And also, thank goodness. 
Because if it wasn't there, I, I probably would have cried. Not over just one HP, but it would have been frustrating, for sure. So I guess we'll go um, try and find fucking 50, no, 43 more blood somewhere. Which I don't, I don't know if there is that much blood left on the map currently. I mean, you can carry it into the next level. You find another shop and you're you're good to go. But then you have to live long enough to go find a shop. 360. Ugh, I need 20 more. 20 more! Oh, God. What is this? There's no, no rooms left on the map. So, I'm going to fight the final boss with, uh... Maybe power pack? No, I don't have enough for power pack either. Fart. Extra rounds and that's it. Alright, whatever. Whatever. It doesn't go exactly how you want, but that's just life, you know? From time to time, this how it be. And that's alright. We're gonna make it. I'm gonna make it because I have faith. Because I built my power level. Hey, body boulder. What's up with you? How you living? So, yeah. Dash up when he does fist things, and uh, dash out when he does clap things. And overall, I think staying next to him is a pretty good tactic. I think with, with full HP, I'm going to be able to, to just eat him no matter what. <laughs> so, it doesn't really matter. Everything's going to go fine. I am saving my uh, ammo for when he gets lower on health. Because that is the point where you need it even more to, to end the fight. Because, yeah, he starts doing shit like that. So, I'm out of ammo now. Down to 5 health. 4 health. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Ooh, 3 health. But we did it. My god. Whew. Okay. A little bit of sword damage. A little bit of slug boy. A couple of golden discs. Oh, the still bastion. Welcome to level 2, everybody. <laughs> Holy crap! Now you can kind of see what I mean about um, the dudes so sort of looking similar. You can halfway predict what they're going to do. Oh my god. They're so mean. Okay. Dash to safety. Oh. Lord and a half. Lord Almighty in heaven. So I'm going to use a bit, a bit of my gunny gun. You didn't see me do it very much in the uh, first stage, but it helps a whole heck of a lot in these second stages. Those little jellyfish things basically shoot a uh, very slow mov moving projectile. And it's actually kind of hard to dodge because the rest of the game is just so uh, fast and flippy. And my headphones came out of my jack. But that's okay. I only have one HP left. We'll see how long we can live with just fucking one HP. Oh, I'm not hopeful for anything. My my whole outlook on life is just... It's just over. It's over now. Try and cheese myself behind some walls. That's what we're gonna do. Haha. -ha. Luckily, they're uh, mostly little dudes. A little bit of sword damage? Yeah, okay, whatever. <sighs> oh, it's not gonna be good. God, where can I get some health? Please, provide me with health! Uh-oh. They got a big boy. I didn't quite get to see what his attack pattern looks like, but, um... I don't, I don't know if I want to. Oh! Oh! Oh, I stunned him just in time. Okay. Everything's fine. No, everything's fine, for reals. <laughs> if I could find a shop or something, that would be just, just dandy. Totally dandy. Oh my god. It's over. Back to the tree. <sighs> well, that's about all I got for now, friends. <laughs> I thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy this episode, let me know if you want to see some more. Also, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. That would be massively appreciated. Also, a big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on the Patreon currently. Once again, friends, this has been 
Scourge Bringer. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, friends, bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.